Good morning, everybody. This is D. Durrell at the practice. I uh, wish everybody a good morning today. I definitely want to talk to you all just in a discussion of, of uh, everything that has happened, particularly the video that got shut down yesterday and the video in regards to Black Anonymous, a.k.a. Nicole, which was also taken off of YouTube. And so, you know, right now I'm kind of hanging out. I'm getting ready to go to Dr. Boyce. I, mean, I have a, a session I have to do, you know, you know, unlike uh, Mr. Palmer, I actually really work. <clears throat> I got a couple of sessions that I have to do, and after that, I'm going to go to the All Black National Convention and check out Dr. Boyce, and I'm going to give everybody a load of content based on what I've seen and what I observed uh, at that particular convention. I know I talked to you all about uh, particularly uh, going there and everything and checking everything out and learning some things in regards to finances and maybe improving uh, my ability to to manage my own finances both business-wise and personal-wise um, So I'm, I'm going to talk a lot, little bit more about that later on throughout the day as I do different content But first of all, I'd like to just go about about yesterday And I'm going to talk about all the different events because I like to recap the live streams because I think I like to give a perspective because you know when you're experiencing something in, in live real live time real real time you know, you may out, you may sometimes overlook certain things or and etc. Then you can be also, uh, you know, uh, distracted for whatever reasons. And I understand that. So, with, with that being said, you know, what I have to say is that I, I'm ashamed of Jared Paul. He should be ashamed of himself once again. This is this is a this is a very immoral person who claims to be a pastor but he wants to basically invite me to Kansas City, Missouri so he can fight me. And he wanna, wanna give me his address, pay, pay for the flight. This is a man that has no discipline, that we're just merely having a discussion, cha challenging in him on his beliefs, and therefore he gets angry and wanna resort to violence. Now, what type of pastor is that? Now, first of all, you came back, which I was actually surprised you did, but then you want to get all funny with me and and say I, I'm a coward. Well, brother, I'm not. I'm. A, I, I fear nothing but God. I just want you to understand that I don't fear you, and I don't fear anybody. So if you can say what you want to say. You can do what you what you want to do. Don't make me any different. But I have no fear. And if it came to to me having to come to Kansas City or you come to Houston, hey, let the chips fall where they may, because I ain't backing down from shit. Just to, just to let you understand that. I just want you to understand that, brother. You can show off if you want in front of your Spengali family and, and all those that support you, but it is what it is at the end of the day. And so, with that being said, you know, you, you came back on with the same uh, LGBT talking points, talking the same silly stuff that don't make any sense, and then you get frustrated, and then you want to leave, and then you want to come back on again like, like you do you. You leave and come back when you get frustrated and people don't agree with what you state. And I'm gonna say this again, and I'm, I'm gonna repeat this again. Okay. My name, my I, my name is D. Durrell. Okay. Everybody on YouTube has aliases that they go by, and I go by the same. What you see with me on YouTube is not indicative to totally who I am in my own personal life, just like anybody else, okay? Although a lot of what I say is influenced by the personality of, 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 what, of the way I function on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Just wanna let you understand that, okay? What you see on YouTube, particularly with me in videos and live streams, is supposed to be somewhat educational. It also is supposed to be interactive with others, and this also can be construed as entertainment by any means by, by not by any means am I functioning on YouTube to engage in therapeutic activities with anybody if anybody would like to have therapeutic activities with me or services they will do so by the information that I provide in the box in the information section and then when if you contact me in regards to those services then I will introduce myself by my personal name and what I do, and then I will go through the whole process of consent forms and, and information and verification to provide those services, whether it's in person or through telemedicine. 
okay? That's what I am. That's that's the difference, okay? This is YouTube where you have the ability to, to create your own character, your own personality, uh, your own aliases, you know, your own alter ego, and etc. okay? I have the right to basically function just like anybody else on YouTube that chose to do something that's in the contrary of who they are, is an extension of who they are, or an alter ego or the opposite of who they are, okay? And you can't do anything about that, Gerald. So I am tired of you trying to hold me as being unethical when I am not functioning as a therapist on YouTube. It's no different from Dr. Phil, who has a show. He's functioning as a character of Dr. Phil on that particular talk show. Dr. Phil, does, I guarantee you, he does not act exactly the way he acts in a therapeutic environment as he do on the show. I can promise you that. No therapist or any mental health professional will. Now, let's see, I got about six minutes. I'm, I'm only gonna do about 10 to 12 minutes. Now, let me, get, let me talk about something else, okay? I am for the rights of the black, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual community. I am not for the LGBT community because I think that the L LBGT community is a function of white supremacy. I'm telling my black brothers and sisters who are of various sexual orientations and, 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 and so forth, or sexual identity and so forth, you're being used for numbers. You're being used financially and you're being used for support. I'm encouraging you to focus on issues in regards to our people, as black people, as African people, okay? I'm, I am encouraging you to focus on that, and through that, you will obtain their other rights that you um, want to receive. You're not going to receive those rights, even though um, though a lot of those rights were given under under the under the guidance and the and and the uh, consent of one Barack Obama. In the long term, you're not going to be effective in what you're trying to do. Okay, I do not hate people in that in your in the community that 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 function in that manner i will not say any derogatory statements about them publicly or better yet i, I wouldn't even say it probably privately okay i i have engaged in my personal practice in real life with tons of people who have issues with their sexuality and i have helped too many people with with issues for someone who basically was not as effective as I am in doing the same thing, even though that's what he specialized in, to to um, to try to criticize me on what I can and cannot do as, as if I don't understand research and I don't understand t statistics in regards to um, black women and black men and, and kids and, and et cetera that have issues that are in the uh, black LGBT community, okay? I wanna let you understand that. So, if you can't take the heat, Gerald and Nicole, get out the kitchen. You see, you have said, you and your buddies have said so many things that have been, uh, been false, that, that are basically, um, that are false, that are lies, blatant lies. You misconstrued information. You embellished information. And you're hypersensitive when someone criticizes people that are in the community that you function in. I have the right to criticize the lesbian, bisexual, gay community, or lesbian, gay, bisexual community, just like they have the right to criticize me, just like they have the right to criticize our community. They can criticize our community just like we, we can theirs. But what I will not do is go and try to affect somebody's ability to, to function in real life and make a living and take care of themselves and the people who depend on them. Because there are people 
who somewhat depend on me and other people who are influenced by the businesses that I have. And so when I say things and I get emotional and I get very intense towards Dr. Uh, well, whatever his name, uh, Palmer, Gerald Palmer, that's the reason. Because I'm, I came on here as a way of exchange, of information exchange, to network, interact, entertain, and to have a, a good time and discuss things. Me and Israel Bound, Deity, and Ja Rules and everybody, matter of fact, half of the, almost everybody on my panel, but then my group that, that come on and so forth, have had tons of disagreements and discussions with me. Me and Israel Bound have went back and forth on all different types of conflicts. At the end of the day, we brothers, we, we, we good. Me and Deity have had multiple issues on a variety of different things. At the end of the day, we all good. Me and Ja Rule were beefing heavily, okay? At the end of the day, me and Ja Rule squashed that. We good. Ja Rule can come on my panel and, 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 and cause he's, Ja Rule actually said way more derogatory statements than anybody, but I, all is forgiven in regards to that. I said things back in, in, in regards to that, we good, okay? So don't sit here and, and so, I'm trying to engage in effective communication with you, but you can't do that. You want to go contact YouTube and flag my channel, and you want to flag my videos. So, guys, I want you to understand, my live stream last night is actually not going to come back on YouTube because of Gerald Palmer. So, it was cut short at two hours because of Gerald Palmer. And... Afro, and I'm um, not Afro. Well, she probably told her to do it, but Black Anonymous, aka Nicole, got upset too, and she got the, the video that I that I showed her picture. She got that taken off too, and they said I was I was saying hate speech, and I was bullying or whatever they wanted to say. So I'm fine with that. It is what it is. But we all know who how you look, and we all know who you truly are. You exposed yourself, and it is what it is. Hey, it is what it is. So. I'm, 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 I have nothing else to say. But, but, but I want you to keep in mind, I'm still gonna do other videos on you. So don't think that's gonna stop me from doing a video on you. So just like I know you do videos on me and so forth, um, I'm gonna still do videos on you. <laughs> so it is what it is. You and the Spengali team. You do videos on me, I'm gonna do videos on you. It is what it is. Now, I wanna talk about Miss Creole Pasta, whatever the hell her name is, who came on my show and embarrassed herself. I showed her to be the idiot that she really is. She basically came on the camera trying to be eye candy and so forth with no brains. I just basically, I basically muted her because she wasn't saying stuff, shit. Conundrum asked her simple questions, and then she want to give examples of why Umar should have been doing this and doing that. All we ask you was, how did he steal? What was the methods that he stole the money? And you couldn't answer that. You didn't answer any of those questions. You actually wasted my time. And you, 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 you showed me that you're actually dumber than the videos that you actually produced. So don't look for me to actually ask you to come back on again if you're not going to give me any kind of intellectual discourse. Actually, it was actually a waste of time. You know, uh, outside of you trying to look cute for the camera and, and then want to yell and curse me out, which I'm not going to curse you out back. So then you curse me out and then I'm the one that gets that gets uh, criticized for cursing you out saying, oh, you, oh, D. Durrell, you're not acting professional. I'm not going to let anybody, just because I, I'm under a profession, personally, going to let people just talk to me any goddamn way. You can... You can hang that shit up. That's not going to happen. Okay? I wouldn't allow it to happen in real life. And I'm not going to allow it to happen on YouTube. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. So, guys, this is D. Durrell at the practice. Just wanted to touch bases with you all. Hope you all have a great day. I'm going to check out the All Black National, the All Black uh, Convention. Look forward to interacting with you all throughout the day. I may do a live stream tonight, but most probably on Sunday. Have a good day.